Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. Today we're going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy A32 to the Samsung Galaxy A23 on the left. So but when it comes to the unboxing experience, it's pretty similar because you're getting that, um, you know, inf information packet with the charging brick and the, um, you know, SIM ejection tool, wall brick and your actual cord for the charging. A23 is ex almost the exact same experience as well because you're going to get that charging brick as well as the cord inside of here um, with the SIM tray removing tool inside of this thing. So everything is just packed right in there and you're going to get the type C and underneath there. So I definitely think that they packaged it really well when it came to these guys. Now the A13 that I did have didn't come with a wall brick. so. Uh, just want to throw that out there, but this is the A23, which does have it. Now, somebody told me that they, their A13 did have a wall brick, so I guess it just depends on like, you know, what region you're from or whatever. The first thing I wanted to basically discuss is the overall bodies of these de devices. So you're going to notice on this side, which is the right side, you're going to get your buttons on this side but one of the things that you're going to notice is the a23 has a side mounted fingerprint sensor which is actually more reliable and we're on the on this guy right here which is the a32 you're going to get it in display fingerprint sensor which isn't as reliable as um you know you know like um the side mounted fingerprint sensor because it's not as fast so it just comes all what it comes down to is the speed and it takes a few extra seconds to unlock it. So even if you re-register re your fingerprint, it's gonna take a few seconds, whereas this one is instantaneous. So I definitely like that part, but I definitely would go with the side mounted fingerprint sensor on the A, you know, 23 in my opinion. This one is gonna have an AMOLED panel, which is gonna be a lot better for looking at content. And you're gonna notice that it gets a lot brighter and stuff like that it also does look have a deeper blacks on here now as far as this guy right here this one does have that v not the v infinity notch whereas this one has the u and notch so you can see the difference when it comes to the notches that you're going to get that u shaped notch on the a32 and the v notch on the a23 the darks are going to stand out more it's also going to have that always on display as well um so i just really like that part about it too now both of these devices will have a single firing speaker we're also going to get a sim card expansion on the right hand side at the top we do get microphones as well on the bottom we get the headphone jack type c single firing speaker and microphone as well so both of these guys pretty much have the same exact um you know build quality except for the fact that the six 0.6 inch on the a23 is going to be bigger and you're going to notice deeper blacks on the a32 because of the amoled panel and also it just looks um you know they're both going to have similar batteries at 5000 milliamp hours when it comes to that as well so i just want to mention that too but um make sure if you if you're enjoying the video that you comment down below and let me know you're still here so i know you're still rocking with me but let's just go to the displays and one of the things you're going to notice about the displays is that they both have you can see this one says adaptive smoothness this one says high smoothness so they both do have 90 hertz refresh rate on here so you could obviously see that the amoled panel is going to be a, more, a, a better display when it comes to it but you can actually tailor them to your own liking this one says adaptive whereas this says high now the a32 feels a lot better in the hand um you know what i mean it's gonna be a lot sharper when it comes to the pixels i did notice that it takes a, a little bit longer for the a23 to load even if i'm using the same wi-fi so even if i like my wi-fi is real bad right now i'm not sure why but you can see right here that one goes up to 1080 and um this one i just want to check this goes up to 4k so you can see the difference right there but you're going to get a more beautiful sharper panel on here this one can go up to 1080 so i just want to mention that but this one it's going up to 4k so it's a lot better we're also getting gorilla glass 5 on the a23 and gorilla glass 5 as well on the a um you know 23 right and 32 so now this is where i want to show you that they're both running android 12 4.1 one so that's definitely something that i do like about these guys because they're both going to share that 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 new software which is going to be pretty clean a lot of people like 
they don't really they're not in love with android 11 as much as they are with 12 i noticed a lot more people liked android 12 versus the um you know the 11 so i definitely think that android 12 is an upgrade from the android you know 11 or whatever now when it comes to the overall scrolling experience obviously they're both going to be extremely great when it comes to these guys because they have that 90 hertz refresh rate storage right here you can see 128 64 but we both got four gigabytes of ram when I, one of the things i also do like is that you can also go into memory and you can allocate them both to ram plus which is going to give you options but better optimization when you're using apps on here all right so i have some um models right in front of me so one of the things i wanted to show you was some of the video features that you're getting on here and some of the features in the camera so right here you when you go into video they both do have full, full hd 30 frames per second so that's something that's pretty similar when you go into the more options you're both going to get the night mode slow mode food mode macro and they pretty much have the same features it's just that the a23 doesn't have hyperlapse so that's the only thing that you're missing when it comes to these guys but let's just take a quick portrait photo on both of these things so i could kind of show you the difference i'll take a, a quick shot with this a23 and then i'll take a shot with this guy which is the a32 a little bit of shutter delay on, on both of these guys so i just wanted to throw that out there but you're getting that 64 megapixel on the a32 and this and the 50 megapixel camera on the um on the a23 and um right here the details look extremely sharp on the a23 it just looks a little bit better i'm not sure let me just do that one more time with the a um 32 and wipe off the camera lenses and um it might just be that the um a23 just has sharper details because when i'm comparing them there's the, it's blurry it's blurry on here but on the a23 it's so sharp so i just wanted to throw that out there it's like extremely sharp so i'm not sure why it's getting blurry every time i can't get like let me try that one more time but like the detail on here is so sharp compared to the A32. All right, so this time I took a picture of my other friend and it seems like the A32 has better colors here. So it definitely redeemed itself because the colors on here look a little bit washed out on the A23 versus on the A32. So, but on the bandana, it's extremely clear on the A23. So either way, you're gonna get really good cameras for both of these guys. But let me just turn the cameras around so I could take a portrait shot of my face so you could kind of see the difference. And a little bit of shutter lag on both of these things, but let me just show you how the image quality came out. Wow, so a lot of good detail on both of these guys. I'm, um, my skin is warmer on the A3, and more, the, the A32 made it my face clearer. So that was weird because, um, let me do that one more time. Okay, so they both have like a point, a 1.5 shutter delay lag, but the they both have really good detail. So it just, it comes down to your own personal preference, but the details on the A23 look extremely sharp, like, but the colors on the A32 look better in my opinion, but I don't know. They're both really good um, phones when it comes to these guys, because we get a 64 megapixel on the A32 with an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel mac, uh, a 5 megapixel macro and 5 megapixel portrait. Whereas on the A23, we get the um, the 50 megapixel 5, 2 and 2. So the, the, they give you an 8 megapixel wide and a, uh, a 8 megapixel i'm sorry a 5 megapixel wide on here and then you're getting the 5 megapixel macro 5 megapixel portrait and the 2 megapixel portrait and the 2 megapixel macro on here but the 64 megapixel lens on here and then the 50 megapixel lens on here 
Now both of these devices do have game launchers so we're gonna test out the game and performance on both of these guys both and then I'm wrapping up the video right after that. Now we're getting the MediaTek Helio G80 on this thing which is the A32. So if I go to graphics, it goes up to smooth and ultra, which is crazy. Now this has a eight nano, uh, a 12 nanometer processing. Wait, why can't I touch this? Hold on. All right, so we do got the Helio G80 on here. It's clocked in at, you know, um, a decent speed, two gigahertz frequency. It does feel actually really smooth on this thing. So um, let me just show you some of the game and performance that you're gonna be getting. And then I'll wrap up the video because I know it's kind of getting long a little bit um let me see oh i got the headshot on that that was crazy this game this phone does seem like it runs really smooth for gameplay so i definitely like the fact that this thing is running really smooth with the four gigabytes of ram 120 gigabytes of internal storage it does have the arm molly g52 as well now, as far as the Samsung Galaxy A23, when it comes to the graphics and stuff, it's going to basically, you're going to get high graphics. So it's not going to be the ultra, the extreme graphics that we was getting on the A32. We're also getting the Adreno 6810 on here, as well as the, um, the Snapdragon 680, which I noticed wasn't as clean. It wasn't as, it wasn't as clean as, you know what I'm saying? Where's my backup? Damn, that was, they just let, watched me die. That was stupid. Is this guy even, okay, let me see. So it has a pretty decent viewing experience. Are, are these dummies? Yeah, so I definitely think the A32 has a faster speed, even though it says, it says that it's supposed to be a, a, a six nanometer processing chip compared to the 12 nanometer processing chip. But, but I'm getting faster speeds on the A32, so I guess it doesn't matter what the nanometer speed is on here. Um, both got single firing speakers as well. It seems like there's someone behind me or something like that. And it seems like I'm not able to get as many kills as I would be on like the... Um, the A32. So the overall difference with these guys is basically they're going to be having the same similar design, almost the same cameras, same battery, but the performance is going to be better for gaming on the A32 versus the A23. So I just want to mention that because you're going to get extreme graphics. Also, the fingerprint sensor is going to be a little bit more quicker on the A32. I mean, A23, right? Because you get the side mounted fingerprint sensor versus the in-display fingerprint sensor. So it's just going to work a little bit quicker, in my opinion. But it's not a deal breaker for the A23 or the A32. I mean, because the fingerprint does open if you give it like a second. It will open. If you just tap it for one second, it will open. But you have to leave your fingerprint there for like half of a second. So it does It does kind of get annoying that it does take a little bit longer than the A23. But it doesn't, it's not a deal breaker. It's not something that you'll, that'll make or break it. But I definitely think both of these guys are good for the price. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I'm going to check you guys later. But make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening. And depending on where you are, have a great night. Later, crew. Peace. Thank you.